Planet Dolan. How do mermaids make babies? We answer this and nine other life mysteries. Hello there. My name is Shima, and I'll be reading out the questions and answers. I'm Danger Dolan, and I'm here to blow your mind with truth. Wolverine XK asks. Who developed the first ever video game? Legendary video game developer Shigeru Miyamoto invented the first ever video game called Minecraft. But back then it was called Tetris and it was your job to control Mario as he traveled the plains of Hyrule trying to stop Sephiroth's army of space invaders from destroying your kingdom of randomly generated blocks. It wasn't a very good game. The earliest known interactive electronic game was a missile simulator crafted in 1947. However, the first game with video wasn't created until 1952. Alexander S. Douglas designed a game he called Knots and Crosses, which was a version of Tic-Tac-Toe. Fusion Man 9981 asks, What is the oldest proof we have about life on Earth? If you check under the fridge at your grandparents' house, you'll find the comprehensive record of artifacts ranging from modern-day dust to 1980s cassette tapes and middle-age arrowheads to stone-age Wi-Fi modems. Don't dig too deep, though. Some things should remain buried. A group of scientists studying some of the oldest rocks in the world discovered strange web-like patterns of bacteria in the surface of sandstone in the Pilbara region of Australia. Using special tools, they were able to date these tiny fossils to around three and a half billion years ago. Can they date this severed tentacle? Yeah, I'm pretty sure that came from an era known as science fiction. GGG asks, why are our veins blue but blood red? Veins actually represent how we're feeling. So if you see someone drop their ice cream and lose their wallet, they might say they're feeling blue, which means their veins are feeding on their depression and getting bigger. And there's only one cure, a gentle pat on the face. Despite what many people think, our blood isn't actually blue when it's in our veins. The blue we see has to do with how light shines on our skin. The blood in your veins, lacking high levels of oxygen, looks blue because that's what bounces back to your eye. Fred T 371 asks, why do we sweat so much? Sweating is the body's way of attracting the opposite gender. This is why girls swoon all over you after a big workout. And also why you should never take showers, or those wonderful smelling bacteria won't get a chance to perform their sexy, sexy work. To a lot of people, sweat is sticky and smells funny, but our body needs to do it. Our bodies use sweat to cool down. We sweat when we're stressed, and sweating even helps fight infections. If our bodies couldn't sweat, we would overheat, sometimes dangerously so. You gonna get up soon? <sighs> five, five minutes. Hannah Garcia asks, how do drugs harm your health? Taking drugs is like sitting on a bed of spikes. At the start, it might feel nice and relaxing, but then after a while you realize that you're sitting on a bed of spikes and it's hurting, it's hurting. Ah! Illegal drugs have a multitude of negative effects on the human body. Everything from blood clots, hyperthermia, heart attack, cancer, stroke, and even death. Even prescription drugs can be really bad for you if you take them when you don't need them. Blue Torch asks, how do clouds stay in the sky? Once upon a time, there weren't any clouds. There wasn't even a night time, just blue skies. But over time, cars that we drive and factories we operate in the city pump out endless plumes of cloud to fill the sky. And the night sky is just the moon reflecting all the built up grit and grime. This process is called global hotting up, and it's surely a good thing. Clouds are made up of super tiny water droplets, or ice crystals if it's cold enough. These droplets are so small that they tend to float along air currents. Think of them like the tiny dust particles you can see in a beam of sunlight and how they float around in the air. Hey, it's still my turn! Snooze, you loose! Josh S. asks, how does diabetes work? You know how you put a tooth under your pillow and a tooth fairy comes to visit you while you sleep? Well, sometimes the tooth fairy doesn't turn up, so the diabetes fairy takes over. And the package they leave in return for the tooth, well, it'll keep you alive, I guess. Your body uses a hormone called insulin to handle the glucose, simple sugars, stored in your body for energy. In most cases, people with diabetes can't produce their own insulin. 
Their body then puts too much glucose into the bloodstream, which produces the symptoms of diabetes. Luis Magana asks, why is the universe colorful? Since we're all living inside the matrix, our universe is just one big computer. And the lights you see in the night sky are neons inside the computer cabinet. If you strain your eyes real hard, you might see the outline of our X99A AC motherboard with i7 processors and quad channel memory. It's beautiful. In reality, the universe is actually pretty bland to look at, at least with our own eyes. Astronomers take pictures with special black and white cameras to show only specific kinds of light reflected by certain elements, like hydrogen and oxygen, and assign colors to those elements. The combined image may look beautiful, but it's not really how the universe looks. Uh, Dolan, what are you doing? I'm just playing my video game. The graphics are terrible. How do mermaids make babies? In their society, it's the men that give birth. These mermen will one day visit the toilet in your house, squat over the bowl, and begin the magical process of reproduction. We can do this! Though real mermaids don't actually exist, it's most likely that a mermaid would make babies like a fish. The female would lay her eggs somewhere, and then the male would release a cloud of milt, the male counterpart to the eggs, into the water to fertilize them. In time, inside the eggs would develop tiny mermaid fry, like baby fish. I'm keeping this one as a pet. I'll call her Fish Lips. Uh, where are you going to put her when she gets too big? Well, Shima, this is why people have pools. Jimmy Vo asks, why is Pluto not a planet? This is because we recently learned that Pluto is just a marble in space left over from a really intense game at someone's school. And the thing about telescopes is that it makes things look a lot larger than they actually are. Whoops. Pluto is smaller than any other planet in our solar system, even the Earth's moon. And Pluto's orbit doesn't follow the same orbital plane as the rest of the planets. This makes astronomers think it was actually an asteroid that was caught by the sun's gravity, rather than a planet that formed with the rest. Poor Pluto. Anyway, that's it. Thanks for watching. Have a cool one! Check it out. We got new shirts on sale. Click the links down below to be taken to the page where you can throw money at the screen and I can reach out and grab it and be like, thanks, buddy. And here's the shirt. It'll be a great transaction. Enjoy the song! Oh wait, no, the song's already over. Oh, that's awkward.